Hi guys and welcome to Where Shmi. We're in the Top Marks Monaco exhibition, an annual show where supercars and tuna cars come down to the small principality and it's absolutely awesome. As you can see behind me we've got some pretty cool cars starting with the DMC Molto Veloce Aventador, pretty nice. We've got the GTA Spano Full Carbon, that's pretty cool too from Spain. The Swedish monster, the Koenigsegg Agera S Hundra, pretty cool, filmed that at Geneva, loved it. And the Ghani Vira with a little one closer just there. So some very, very nice cars here in the Top Mark show. But that's not all that happens here in Monaco this week because there is also a test drive pit outside where about 10, 15 cars go around the town all day, blasting through the tunnel, driving the F1 route and making a lot of noise and some cool videos. So I'll get some good shots of those, I hope, in the town. For now, let me take a quick look at some of the highlights in here. We're just driving the Formula One circuit in Monaco down the hairpin at the Fairmont Hotel. Because of the cars driving around for the Top Marks show, there are an awful lot of cameras and car spotters filming everything that goes on here. So, if we just come through here, look at all of these people. an awful lot of fun coming through the famous Formula One tunnel. Just go around now around the harbour and see what else we can find. Living in Casino Square, one of the most famous supercar places in the world. Um, the F1 route, of course, Grand Prix comes through here. We've got a rather, rather nice Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradal tucked in behind us for this. Um, always, 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 always nice cars to be found in here. So let's see what we've got. Well, we've also got a lot of photographers, videos, cameras out left, right, and centre. Good old Ferrari in front of us. Famous. Monte Carlo Casino on our right here. Uh, line up today, what do we have? 458, Bentley. Oh, well, not too bad. I've seen some pretty nice cars up here. Following a bit of a vintage crew. So, yes. That. That's Casino Square. Now we'll head back down towards the Fairmont Airpin. <laughs> that was a 
amusing. That was really funny. Um, it seems people get amused when you point a camera right back at them. Just out with our friend in the 8C, entering the tunnel. a little surprise just now in Casino Square and a whole bunch of cars just pulled in. Um, it's a rally I think organised by a tuning company and probably a partnership with a wrapping company because everything is absolutely leery in colour. The uh, green chrome Gallardo you can just see in the background um, and everything else. Um, so yes, making lots of noise, lots of cars. Police not really sure what to do with so many cars pulling into Casino Square. Um, we've got these ones behind me and we've also got a few R8s and some Mercedes. spotting for the evening then and um, pretty much summed up by finding this. It's a red Pagani Zonda S Roadster. I filmed this car in Monaco a few times. The owner has some pretty awesome cars in his collection but uh, that really really livens up the evening. You always hope to find something amazing. Uh, obviously this trip also I had a red wire I spotted um, and uh, at Top Mark's show. I uploaded that already and now we have a red Zonda to add to it. Just got to hope for some more. Maybe a curling take out and about would be pretty awesome too but a few shots of that and then let's hopefully find some more stuff this evening. The night gets better and better spotting here in Monaco. For some reason it seems like everything has come out tonight because here we have a gorgeous Aston Martin 177. Just 77? Um, I've seen this one here before in Monaco when I was down here last summer. Um, but obviously not going to complain about seeing it out here again. I absolutely love this car. Although I wouldn't have mine in black. But um, either way, it's a 177. It's awesome, it's rare, it's beautiful, it's very expensive uh, and very cool to see. So I wonder if it is possible for anything else to appear around here tonight. Um, hopefully something maybe, you never know. Um, the night is young as they say, so let's see.
So I think one can safely argue that today has been a pretty good day. 177 Zonda, top marks, bit of driving around, lots and lots of epic stuff and lovely weather as always here in Monaco. So wish me again, we're still in Monaco, we've got a couple more days here. More driving around tomorrow, hopefully some rides and some cars, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but once again, thanks for watching, make sure you're subscribed to see the next episodes as soon as possible and a few more videos from today's stuff. So I'll catch up with you again soon, thanks for watching. mile adventure around Europe. The two cars, my midnight purple R8 Spider.